Aloha, my friends. This is Billy Wiggly coming at you live from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. How's everybody doing today? Staying positive? That's the only way to be. Positive. And I'm positive that you're probably using Teams right now, Microsoft Teams. And if you're anything like me and you just discovered it, wow, what a cool tool. And let me show you one quick technique how to add an Excel spreadsheet as a tab in one of your channels. Check it out. here in Microsoft Teams. Check it out. This is the Don't Get Mad, Get Skills Microsoft Teams channel. And I got a confession to make. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and I've got access to just about every software that Microsoft makes. I've got access to just about all of the training materials for all the software that Microsoft makes. And guess what? I've just been using Excel. Excel. I just use Excel and I teach Excel and I live in Excel. And all the other tools, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Teams, I, I just never used them. And then suddenly, I got a team as Don't Get Mad, Get Skills continues to grow. Now I needed some help. So I've added people to my team and I discovered Teams. And then next thing you know, there's the free version and I've upgraded now to Office 365 Business Standard. And wow, Microsoft Office 365 is amazing, but now come on over here to Teams and check it out right here. And what we've got, this is the actual Don't Get Mad, Get Skills channel, the team channel. And when we're working in our team channel, in the Don't Get Mad, Get Skills team, there's multiple channels. I gotta get my terminology correct. These right here are our channels right here. This is the team, and so, We've got different channels within the team. So we've got the social media channel that we added. By the way, to add a channel, it's real easy. Just go right up to the ellipsis and then click on more options. And always explore your options. Just like in Excel and all software, I always recommend checking your options. Right click, nothing happens. Left click, nothing happens. Check your options. And anytime you see ellipsis buttons like this, click on them. It's kind of like a dialog box launcher in Excel or in your ribbon so now we've added a channel now we go to our social media channel and right here in our social media channel this is where don't get mad get skills we manage our content calendar the social media manager goes into the content calendar so she knows exactly what she's got planned out for the next couple months and so do all the rest of the team so we can work accordingly and then I've got these live streams don't get mad get skills live streams every single day quick tips like this so we needed to keep in touch with each other. So in this particular social media channel that we created, we've got these tabs right at the top. The posts, the files, and the wiki. These three are standard. They appear in every single channel. These right here are the ones that I've added. So I wanted to add the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that contains the live stream calendar. This one right here so that my social media manager can know what I've got planned coming up. So to add specifically this spreadsheet right here, it shows the live stream calendar, okay? So what we've done here is, let me go back to the beginning of this channel. What we've done to add, add a tab to your team channel this is how you do it and we are going to add specifically an Excel spreadsheet so the way that I do it is just go to this plus add a tab and then what we do is we look at the type of tab that we want to add it's the coolest thing there's all these tabs they're apps that you can add to your channel I mean whoo look at this one right here I will I will try to, I don't even know what that is, but if I was looking at that picture all the time, I'd get hungry. But here we go. Let's add Excel. So what we've got right here is our recent apps. 
recent ones that we've looked at and here we have it so what we want to do is we want to add an excel tab so it's this one right here so what i'm going to do is i just click on excel and then it asks you hey which one it which one of the excel files do you want to add so we're looking right here into our team channel into our team social media drive that's what we want to call it and that's where we store our content right here and then it turns out that we got the live stream calendar right here and I can just say hey I want to add that tab so I select the live stream can calendar and then we click save and then when we go right up to the tab we can see right here we've added Excel so if I click on the drop down it says Excel right there because there's now two sheets in there uh, so we can just uh, click on it and we can see this sheet and then we can click on this one and we got our live stream calendar let's check right here and then I can rename it actually I was wrong I said it says Excel because I thought it put both uh, two spreadsheets in there but it doesn't see I'm learning just like you and that's how we learn we just got to click 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 pay attention read and then just go for it no fear it's gonna be really difficult to learn if you're hesitating and you're fearful. Don't be scared. So here's what happened. I go plus to add a tab, add an Excel, and what I needed to do was rename it. So let's just go ahead and remove this one. I'm gonna click on Excel and let's remove it. We're learning by doing. And we're gonna remove that tab. Let's see what this says. Wanna remove this tab? Yes, remove it. Okay, cool. So now let's add it again we want to add this one the live stream calendar it's already on there but we're going to just do it again just for funds to see how we did it there's the plus here's our apps remember that you can click on this drop down to see all the apps here we're just seeing the recent apps so we click on excel all right so here's the part where we name our tab that's why it said excel and i can just call it the other lab stream sheet just to give it a name and then we search where we want to find it and here it is right in the teams uh, social media folder I click on live stream calendar to add it and remember to read everything right it says post to the channel about this tab yeah let's do that so it lets everybody know and then let's click save boom and now it's going to appear as the other live stream. Check it out right up here, the other live stream calendar. So we click on this drop down. There's the other worksheets, Excel worksheets that we have in here. And uh, there's the new one we just added. And what's cool is that with this spreadsheet, you'll notice in this task pane right here, this is where we communicate. And whenever we are, look right down there, okay? right over there Whoop. right here my friends here's where we can chat about this specific file see so for example if we go back to the original live stream cal calendar that we've all been working with here at don't get mad get skills you can see right here that we're communicating and my content uh, my social media manager said hey Billy can I also have time info for your live stream so that I know what time it's scheduled for when I'm doing my post and then so we added the time column right there just like that so everything that has to do with this particular spreadsheet we can talk about it right in the same place so it keeps everything organized now I don't need the other live stream calendar so I'm gonna go ahead and left click on it and I'm gonna enable it so that I can see the tab up at the top and then now I can go ahead and remove it. And always read these dialog boxes or this uh, dialog boxes that appear, okay? Always read them because you know, they may say something really important for you. And there we have it, my friends that's how you add another channel plus a bunch of other stuff i just taught you and have no fear remember my friends come and check it out right here 
Don't get mad, get skills.com. I'm teaching live right now, right now. The July classes are up right now. Yesterday we taught the intro to Excel. Go to don't get mad, get skills.com. You don't even need to type seven steps live, just don't get mad, get skills.com. And you're gonna end up right here at this page where all the classes that are coming up right now. And right now I'm teaching the seven steps to Excel success using my basic seven steps to Excel success learning methodology. Yesterday we taught the intro. Tomorrow we are teaching this class right here, Seven Steps to Excel Success, Step 1 and 2. It's coming up. Book your spot. How much is it? It's free 95. That's it. And I've taught this class to over 65,000 people live and in person. Come on, join us tomorrow. And remember, my friends, like I always say, keep on learning. Remember, I love you. And don't get mad. Get skills. Aloha.